Well, ladies and gents, a new video. Uh, I'm going to charge my Model 3. It's almost four years old to 95%. I think it's just finished up. I'm going to head to Zadar from the same uh, fast charger uh, in Kaufland that I've uh, tested the new Model Y Juniper. So we're going to see the difference in the range. So just to show you the screen, uh, 95%, 481 kilometers of range. Uh, my battery has degraded definitely around 10%. If I would charge to 100%, which I didn't do in a while, I would get a little bit over 500 kilometers of range. And uh, outside is currently here in the garage in the shade 27. It's 30 degrees outside, or 29. Uh, a little bit more warmer, but still uh, good temperature for the battery. Uh, we're gonna head out to Zadar, and let's see uh, what the trip computer says here. I don't think there should be any traffic, maybe a little bit here, but. Think that's fine uh, it says here 25 percent arrival so we're gonna see if that's gonna be correct so uh, for the model white juniper it was a little bit uh, uh, less I think but we arrived with more uh, usually my computer here uh, error is up to two or three percent so we're gonna see if this is gonna be uh, accurate so I just passed the tools, so you can see the temperature is 30 degrees outside and I uh, just uh, dropped 92% continuing on. Uh, it is worth mentioning I've switched to normal driving mode, so I'm not driving in chill. Uh, and today it's a little bit windy, I'm not sure if you can see on the tree branches, but we have a little bit of wind. Uh, while when we were driving the Model Y there was an uh, ideal almost uh, very little of wind so that's the difference in the conditions you can have it perfect always uh, but uh, we'll see I'm keeping the ACN 21 which I did uh, with the Model Y as well now just to show you at 100 kilometers per hour this is the wind noise so the Model uh, Y was really quiet uh, Model 3 Highland is also very quiet but uh, this is 100 kilometers per hour wind noise and there's a little bit of mixture of the AC or the fan noise and the asphalt that is kind of rough here but I do have new tires uh, that are running for a second season the uh, Hankook these are the I own Evo uh, this is also the Ventus Evo cube so it's just a rebrand uh, sidewall tire but it's the same tire well, there's traffic, so I'm driving mostly about 100 kilometers per hour this uh, first part. Hopefully going to clear out uh, after a split, so we'll see. Currently at past Karlovac, with 83%, so that was about, I think, 3%, uh, excuse me, 9% between Zagreb and Karlovac. Well guys, uh, if you check the uh, projection has increased because we were driving because of the traffic a bit slower but we are driving according to the uh, speed limits currently same as I was driving with the Model Y. Uh, after we get to 130 I will be driving uh, a little bit faster of course same as the Model Y 130, 140. Well guys, just passed 100 kilometers at 70% battery, just uh, passed Ogolin exit. As you can see close up on the uh, power consumption is uh, 16 and a half. It was just below uh, 16 uh, until this part where we're starting to uh, uh, climb a little bit more. But, uh, and the speed limit was uh, 130. Now it's uh, again 100 and it should be 130 later on, so pretty good, but again, uh, thanks to the first part that was slower because there's traffic, it's clearing out a little bit now, but there's still traffic because it's the uh, beginning of the tourist season and there's a lot of uh, tourists coming into Croatia, so more traffic on the highway. 
So I just passed the uh, Toyota Supercharger, 57%, uh, almost passed 150 kilometers. Okay, so I've just passed uh, 50, so range 253 kilometers at 50%, and uh, relax, autopilot. Uh, and you can see here we're just passing Yanche rest stop. That's going to be the next uh, supercharger on the highway, probably end of 2026, but hopefully sooner. While I'm passing uh, next to some of the rest stops, I'm remembering the old good old days when charging was completely free in Croatia. So you would just find an excuse to stop and charge for free. And I've actually traveled through a good portion of the country completely free and I've been charging for more than three years completely free I'm just uh, talking about uh, free charging in Croatia uh, and some local free chargers and then uh, plus the free superchargers I had as well that really uh, piled up uh, to roughly around 65 to 70 thousand kilometers free I maybe paid for the 10 thousand uh, maybe less, I don't know, maybe even five, I don't know, for the, you know, most of the abroad uh, supercharging. But guys, if you like this video, I haven't shared my referral a lot. Uh, huge thanks to Casey and congrats on uh, ordering your new model Y Juniper. Uh, if you want to reward my work for doing this and you're ordering a new Tesla, use my referral link. It's going to be in the video description or in the comment pinned. Uh, I would appreciate that. Uh, you get a discount, I get points so I can use it for a free supercharger or a uh, free service or I don't know, it's something new program now, maybe I can get, like uh, if I get enough, maybe I can unlock a boost upgrade, that would be cool. Uh, and honestly, after driving the new Model Y, which has a little bit more horsepower, it's slower as your 200 because it's uh, heavier, you can also get boost for it. But I feel like my car could use the boost now because I got used to the uh, throttle response from the Model Y. It's slightly faster. Um, and this is actually the first time I'm driving in a normal. I'm usually driving in chill. Uh, I did try it maybe a few times, but uh, in the city, I usually drive this car in chill because of the you know sensitive acceleration. Just want to be responsible in the city. Uh, you know, it's always kids uh, in the neighborhoods, uh, pedestrians. So, no rush and I'm just driving in chill. And here comes our man, Nikola Tesla, born in Croatia. So just past uh, 200 kilometers with 41% of battery. Well, for my personal reference, uh, just past the uh, rest stop uh, Zir with uh, 211 kilometers on the clock, 39% battery. Consumption is 17. So just a little bit of a uh, noise level at 140. Again, it's windy outside today, but still it's quite noisy car. Well guys, let me show you the uh, trip computer here. And uh, my lifetime is now 17.2. It started dropping towards seven now, so I used to have 17 and a half, then a 17.3, and now it's slowly dropping thanks to the new tires uh, and warmer weather. Actually, uh, usually when I'm coming from Zadar back to Zagreb, I usually spend 80% of battery. Last week, I spent only 70%, uh, crazy good consumption. Uh, but it's thanks to warm temperatures. Now, as you can see, it passed 86,600 kilometers in almost four years. And I've almost spent 15,000 kilowatts of power. Uh, on the way back home to Zagreb, I will definitely spend that much. And um, 
This is for the long range all wheel drive 2021 with a heat pump, pretty solid power consumption. I know people who have 20 uh, or 18, uh, some have even 22. That's usually 20, 22 power consumption at winter that this car has. But uh, as you can see now, thanks to at least that first part, I was slower driving. Uh, my power consumption is currently 17 kilowatts. So just a close up here, uh, I know there's a little bit of sun glare, but uh, pretty solid consumption. We're starting our descent now, so it's probably gonna drop a little bit further, but we're gonna see at the end uh, how much we're gonna pass. So just past 250 kilometers at uh, rest stop Yasenitsa, that's also gonna be a next supercharger, hopefully by the end of 2026. Uh, we're still uh, descending now, so our consumption is at 16 kilowatts per 100 kilometers. Hey guys, so just arrived uh, at the uh, tool payment uh, with 29% of battery. Almost driving for two and a half hours. Uh, there's a little wait here because uh, electronic tool payment ain't working. So, but it's moving. Well guys, uh, same spot, I arrived at Zadar, uh, close to the first shopping mall, so arrived with 27% uh, of battery, consumption was 15 and a half, uh, past 282 kilometers, uh, spent 44 kilowatts, you can see the screen, so pretty solid. So let's say if I start with a 90%, and just reduct that, I would arrive with 22%, which isn't bad. Uh, I think I should check my old videos and see what is the actual degradation because I think it's very similar to what I had when the car was uh, brand new. I'm going to wrap it here. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.